Welcome to Old Rifle 1898, where we share our passion for the rifles, their history, and the pleasure of shooting them. Please like and subscribe, because it's the only way we can make this channel grow and being accessible to more and more people. Today, we're talking about some uh, current issues. It's about riots, coups, and civil unrest. And people throughout the year have been buying guns like nowhere uh, else in time. And for various reasons, unfortunately, some of them are well-founded. We have uh, the pandemic, where we, there has been a lot of uncertainty of what could happen. There have been riots. There have been uh, attempts or plans to kidnap governors and take over the government. And some people will say that we will not hand in their power after election or something like that. So we have a lot of people worrying about uh, a wide range of problems that some of them are very real. And the possibility of being on one of those situations is not out there. Now, what we're gonna talk about today is about the, uh, defending your property and you and your family in which will be the best uh, tool to do it in terms of firearms. Now, we're, we're gonna talk about some legal uh, terms and situations. I'm not a lawyer, so this is just my opinion. You, there, you should check the legal opinion of an expert uh, and check your local laws as well. Many people are afraid of being attacked either by a, a mob or, or being uh, in the situations where they have to defend their store or the store of a, of a friend or something like that. Now, many have argued that the best way to do that is using uh, one of the, this kind of rifle, the black semi-automatic rifle. Well, it certainly, it's a good tool for a tactical situation and open combat, but it's not made for a civilian situation of unrest like we were likely to encounter. Now, uh, what I'll use instead of uh, semi-automatic black rifles, it will be uh, using this old gun and with this old bayonet, okay? Now, uh, this is kind of heavy and it's very long indeed. And why I will choose this instead of the other rifle well mainly because three reasons first deterrent second tool options and third it's a legal reason on the deterrent side if you're in front of your home or in front of a store at the strip mall someone sees these and they're gonna see this long knife at the end of it. Everyone has been hurt by, uh, by a knife, but not many people have been shot at. So people know how, what's been, uh, what it is to be poked with a, with a knife. And they'll, they, 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 that will work in their mind maybe better than a, than a rifle. So you want to 
prevent people to come in and that's the first thing that you have to deter people now I'll advise that you put a, a perimeter around your property because it will create a barrier between you and whoever comes in it will also help you in case that if there's any situation you'll have uh, more uh, legal defense when you have uh, established uh, a perimeter of what's your property better yet if you put some kind of sign and i mean a, a perimeter can be just a, a, a court with a couple of paper signs saying do not enter or private property or something like that and also having a, a camera recording everything now the second issue is the tools having a bayonet gives you the option of fending up someone that comes in unarmed but with a, a, a clear desire to attack you if you someone unarmed comes in and attacks you and you shoot them you clearly will say well he, he entered my property he was gonna attack me but how will it sound at a courthouse when they say uh, the guy was unarmed and this uh, citizen shot him with this assault rifle blah 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 it won't sound good so using a, 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 the, your rifle as a, as a, 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 a spike will maybe hurt the pe person and he will retreat instead of trying to, to get in because he thinks that you will never shoot him. So that's reason number two. And talking about that, don't ever point your gun at people passing by. I mean, if, if a person is burning a, a, a car in front of your house, there's no reason for you to, to point or shoot at that person. You don't know if it's, uh, first it's not a threat to you or on, on your property, it might become one, but until then you don't point your, your gun at them. So that's the, that's the other thing. People might be passing by in front of you. You cannot start uh, pointing your gun to any, anyone that goes by in front of your property. And the, the same time, you don't know who will turn at the last minute and try to attack you. That's why the, the, having more tools at your disposal is better. Now, when it comes to a, a legal standpoint, it's clear that it's much difficult to defend yourself in court because if you end up there it doesn't matter if you have your uh, you have the, 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 the rights and you have the reasons if you're uh, accused of something you'll lose a lot of money and a lot of time dealing with that and you don't want that if the if the DA comes in and you say, well, I had my old rifle and that's all I have to, to defend myself. And this was my last option. And this is a, 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 a relic. Things will be better uh, for you. I'm, 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 I'm convinced of that. Then again, uh, in court, if you end up there, it will be a, a good defense and it will increase your chances of, of not being involved in this kind of, of legal uh, trouble. So these are three, three reasons that you might want to use an old, an old rifle with a bayonet and even if 
you will say, yeah, but 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 it's it's uh, a a bolt action. Think about how many shots. If you really need to to, to take a shot of someone, how many shots do you really need to 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 shoot before everyone spreads out and starts running? one two maybe you don't need 30 of those that's for an open <laughs> fight situations where you surely don't want to be at so then again there are some other um, opinions about that finally and as a bonus there is another option that many people might be commenting. How about a real riot gun? Riot guns are other um, shotguns of uh, short barrels. This is a very long barrel, uh, a, a shotgun with a very long barrel. But uh, as a cheap alternative, you might buy something like this. This is uh, an old very old uh, shotgun with a long barrel and you can actually cut it to, to, to the length that you feel comfortable with but it has to be more than 18 inches of barrel to be legal so don't, don't, don't get carried away well do it legally in this case this will be about here I could chop this shotgun about here and still be legal with no problem, 18 inches of, of battle and, and, and it will be a hundred weapon and this you can find for less than a hundred dollars at your pawn shop so there you have it please comment on the uh, feel free to comment and I know there will be a lot of different opinions about it is but uh, that's uh, how we learn from each other having and presented uh, different aspects and 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 different uh, views on what should we use for the different types of situations hopefully you like this and and i'll see you on the next presentation